Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about the degeneracy in an assignment problem, how to remove the degeneracy and the method which I'm going to use is disk reduction matrix method. That means first uh, the matrix will be reduced, the problem will be solved and after that we are going to reach to a particular point where we will remove uh, the degeneracy of the assignment problem. So this is a little bit problem, I have six men and six jobs, each man is capable of doing each job and these are the different assignment costs which are given and uh, we need to solve this particular assignment problem. So you can uh, refer to previous two videos in which I have already mentioned that uh, in reduction matrix method what how do I start is first thing is I want to I exactly see the minimum of each row and subtract it throughout. So let's start with it. So if you look into the first row the minimum is 9 if you can see that in whole row the minimum is 9 and I'm to subtract 9 throughout. So 9 minus 9 is 0, 22 minus 9 is 13, 58 minus 9 is 49, 11 minus 9 is 2, 19 minus 9 is 10, 27 minus 9 is 18. So the first row is, I am repeating it, select the minimum of the row and subtract it throughout. Let's go with the second row. So I'll keep doing the things simultaneously. If you look into the second row of the table, the uh, minimum in this particular row is 43. So we are going to subtract 43 throughout. So 43 minus 43 is again 0. 78 minus 43 is 35. 72 minus 43 is 29. 50 minus 43 is 7. 63 minus 43 is 20 and 48 minus 43 is 5. So I obtained the second row, the logic remains same. I find the minimum of each row and subtract it throughout. Let's see the third row now. If you look into the third row, the minimum here is um, 28. So we are going to subtract 28 throughout. So 41 minus 28, that gives you 13. 28 minus 28, that gives you 0 then 91 minus 28, 91 minus 28, that gives you 63, then 37 minus 28, that gives you 9, 45 minus 28, that gives you 17, and uh, then comes 33 minus 28, that gives you 5. Now let's move to the fourth row. If I look into the fourth row, what is the minimum you could see? The minimum here is 27. You can see that minimum in fourth row is 27. So we are going to subtract 27 throughout. So 74 minus 27 gives me 47. Then 42 minus 27 gives me 15. 27 minus 27 gives me 0. 49 minus 27 gives me 22. 39 minus 27 gives me 12 and 32 minus 27 gives me 5. Now I'll look into the next row once again. So I'll just pull it up. Now look at the fifth row. In fifth row, if you look into the thing, the, okay, let me fold it a bit. So that can give me a little more space. That seems good. Flexibility. So let's see the fifth row now. Now if I uh, identify the fifth row, the minimum is 11 and I'm going to subtract 11 throughout. So 36 minus 11 is 25, 11 minus 11 is 0, 57 minus 11 is 46, 22 minus 11 is 11, 25 minus 11 is 14 and 18 minus 11 is 7. Now let's feed the last row. Last row, what is the minimum? 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0. 56 minus 3 is 53. 53 minus 3 is 50. 31 minus 3 is 28. 17 minus 3 is 14. And 28 minus 3 is 25. So step 1, I get select the minimum of row. This sheet is going to explain you everything. Select the minimum of row and uh, subtract it throughout. You can exactly uh, redo the problem by pausing the video if you want. I know it's not fitting in the video window, but I'll try to do that. Okay, fair enough. So that is first step. Now the second step is, what is the second step? Let's go ahead. 
select second step is select the minimum of each column and subtract it throughout select the minimum of each column and subtract it throughout so let's go ahead and how do we exactly get do that so i'll do it again one by one so in my first column what is the minimum the answer is the minimum is 0 so if i sub subtract 0 throughout 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 13 is minus 0 is 13 47 minus 0 is uh, 47 25 minus 0 is 25 0 minus 0 is 0 so the column remains throughout same so in any column where 0 is exactly same the values are going to remain absolutely same because the minimum is 0 and you subtract 0 throughout it remains as it is so if you look into the first three columns the minimum element is 0 so they're going to remain absolutely same so I'm just going to replicate them quickly it is 0 0 13 47 then comes 25, then comes 0, the next is 13, 35, 0, 15, 0, 53, and the next is 49, 29, 63, 0, 46, and 50. Now, the actual story starts with column number 4. So, if you look into the column number 4, the minimum is 2. It's not 0 anymore. So, I'm going to subtract this 2 throughout the column. So, let me put it this way. Let me just uh, again uh, give me a little bit of space right here. So, let's see the column number 4 here. So, if I look into the column number 4, the minimum is 2. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. 7 minus 2 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. 22 minus 2 is 20 and then 11 minus 2 is 9 and 28 minus 2 is 26. Fair. Now let's see the fifth column. What is the minimum in fifth column? The answer is 10. So let's subtract the 10 throughout. So 10 minus 10 is 0, 20 minus 10 is 10, 17 minus 10 is 7. 12 minus 10 is 2, 14 minus 10 is 4, 14 minus 10 is 4. Now, in this particular column, the minimum is 5. So, 18 minus 5 is 13. 5 minus 5 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, 7 minus 5 is 2, 25 minus 5 is 20. So, what I have done here is, I have actually taken minimum, minimum of each column and subtracted it throughout and this is going to be my solution table that means I'm going to make assignments in this particular table let's go ahead let's start making the assignments so if I look into the arrangement entire arrangement the first thing I need to see is that which particular row has one zero no 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 yes this row has exactly one zero so start searching for the row having exactly one zero so I assign that particular zero and cross all corresponding zeros in the column that is first step now i my my theory says that again get back to step one again start searching for row exactly having one zero no 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 this row has exactly one zero so i'm going to make an assignment again and cross any corresponding zero within the column so in this column there are two zeros i'm going to cross both of them this simply means that fourth job has been assigned to first man. So first man cannot take any other job. So when assignment is done, that means that particular row or that particular column is done. That particular job has been assigned to some man or that particular man has a job. So these are the two things which are there. Now again, I start searching for row one zero. No. Okay. Here I find one zero once again. All right. So I make an assignment on it. 10 which has not been assigned and I cross all the corresponding zeros in the columns I get back to step one again search for row a row hanging exactly one zero yes I find it here so assign it is there any corresponding zero in the column no so I leave it as it is again search for the row having exactly one zero there is no row with one zero so then step two is start searching the column for exactly one zero now if I start searching for column this column has exactly one zero so I assign one and cross any corresponding zero in the row 
Now, the important thing is I have six rows and six columns, but the number of assignments are one, two, three, four, five. So this is called as a degenerate sorry I've written out of the box it says degenerate assignment problem and when it appears when number of assignments are less than number of rows or columns it hardly makes a difference because assignment may matrix uh, assignment problem is a square matrix problem so my rows and columns are always going to be equal so this is a degenerate transportation pro uh, sorry assignment problem now how do i remove that particular degeneracy this is exactly what we are going to learn in the next particular part so how do i remove this degeneracy let's start with the thing so we follow a particular pattern and uh, what is this pattern let's see about it so the first thing what you do is you start identifying the particular row in which there is no assignment at all so if you look into the row 3 there is no assignment at all so i mark it tick here and i'm going to cal uh, mark it as 1 now within this row so first i select the row where there is no assignment at all and then within this row i see the zeros which are crossed so if i look into the thing there are two places where zeros are crossed one is this zero and other is this this zero so i am going to mark this as two and this column as column three so i am repeating the steps i started searching for the row having no assignment so row three was not having any assignments i marked it then within this particular row where the crossed zeros are i marked second and third there is no possibility of having assignment in it because i have selected uh, dedicatedly a row when, where there is no assignment now in newly marked rows columns i search for the row having the assignment so if i look into this particular uh, column here there is an assignment here so that is marked as four and if i look into this there is an assignment here this is marked as five this is an automatic process which will finish itself now in newly marked rows i search for the crossed zeros so is there any cross zero in here no nothing if i look into this yes i find a cross zero here so i mark it number i mark it number 6 again in newly marked row i see where the cross zero is the cross zero in this particular sixth if i look into the thing where exactly so i have marked the fifth and i have looked exactly where the crossed zero is and i have taken it up okay that's it and in this particular row when i move i look into the assignment so assignment is right here i marked it number seven so moment i enter from the row i look for the crossed zeros and moment i enter from the column i look for the assigned zeros now uh, it is actually completed now i'm going to draw some lines the lines are going to go for from i'm writing it here unmarked rows and marked columns so look into the rows so let me drop some rows here unmarked rows so one row is this unmarked row so I'm going to drop a line here. Where is the other unmarked row? Other unmarked row is first one. I'm going to draw some lines from marked columns. So marked columns are 2, 6 and 3. So one line is this. One line is this. And other line is this right here. So unmarked rows and marked columns. Now once I drop these lines, that is now very very important part here. What I do is, after drawing these lines, I look into the left out elements. That means which are not on the lines. That like 29 is not on the line, 5 is not on the line, 10 is not on the line, 63 is not on the line, 7 is not on the line, this 7 is also not on the line. So I look into the left out elements and I pick minimum out of them. So minimum is 4. 
appearing yeah. at two places so i just look into the uh, i would say uh, left out elements and then i pick minimum out of the 